Have you ever thought about the fascinating trend that has emerged in the corporate world? Major companies opting for simplicity over complexity, shedding layers of detail to undergo what can only be described as a de-branding exercise. Think the recent Johnson & Johnson rebrand, once a rich collection of serifs, now a minimalist set of characters. Toyota has been debuffed, Burger King has lost some weight, but these aren't the only ones. VW, Rolling Stone magazine, Nissan, Jurex, and Intel have all been transformed from ornamental, complex, and characterful to new, simpler offerings. But why are these brands changing? And what's moving this shift in brand philosophy? Well, there are a number of reasons, and in this video, we're gonna share what they are. The first reason is all about cycles and trends. Just as in fashion, where we see clothing trends return decades later, logo designs are also going to be subject to trends. Logos have gone from simple, minimalist offerings through the modernist era, think Bauhaus and Braun, to ones that became rich in ornamentation, which aligned with the advent of the computer. For those that can remember, think of the work from that time. The David Carson, the album covers, all rich in detail, excess and depth. The second is because of technology, but not in the way you might think. The pressure on pixels has changed the needs of a logo. Social networks have required logos to fit into ever smaller and smaller spaces. This has led to simpler and simpler logos. Long gone is the request for bigger and brasher. The third reason is intrinsically linked to the second, and that's the maturity of the businesses in question. Many of the brands that have exploded in the last 20 years have moved from a few friends setting up their business in a garage to now entering to thousands of shareholders. This pressure has led to new found conservativeness in their logos and their brand. Think of Google, Airbnb, Twitter, and Instagram. All have been steamed, foamed, and shaved, getting rid of any stubble that they may once have had. The fourth, in our opinion, is all about keeping up with the Joneses. Brands within sectors have become almost unrecognizable from each other. Burberry, Calvin Klein, and Yves Saint Laurent have all really knuckled down on the sans serif coupled with black and white. Don't believe me? Well, how about I put the real logos up on the screen now? Did you notice the difference? But there have been some brands that have tried to maintain an element of complexity within their logos. Brands have become vehicles for content. This is particularly important when brands are representing a number of IPs, such as DC's new and old logo. For all these reasons, it's evident that debranding isn't just a passing fad. It's a strategic choice with long-term implications. However, as with any trend, there's always the possibility of a reversal, because while logos have been getting smaller, resolutions have been getting bigger. And is there a stage where universality and simplicity goes too far? Just wanted to say that the Burberry uh, logo is kind of out of date. Uh, they've actually just rebranded and it's much more complex. Thanks for letting me know. Maybe the future's already here. When, for example, was the last time you accidentally pressed on the wrong Adobe or Google icon, thinking you were loading up Audition when in fact you got After Effects? Does a complex world now need more articulation? We'll have to wait and see. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Do give us a like and do consider subscribing. We post videos nearly every week about founder stories, design, brand, and digital. Thanks again and see you in the next one.